What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Look at this, a daytime video and something besides Nissan. Um, if you guys remember, I have a cousin with a Subaru, WRX STI. Isn't that WRX? It's just STI, right? STI. Okay, my bad, my bad. You know, I'm a Nissan guy, you know? So, he has a, a 2018 STI and we're going to do some mods today. First, we're going to put on a dyno, we're going to get a base, and then we'll put on the lift, change the oil, put on his stage 2 map performance kit, uh, and then we'll put it back on the dyno and see the power gains. So like every other island person, he's late, so we're gonna start late, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what this thing makes. We're gonna put it on all four rollers here today. Uh, got it all set up for him. Got his uh, wheelbase, since you guys like information, the wheelbase of this car is 104. I know you guys could have Google it, but that's what this thing here is on the side for. We just measure the dyno every time and get the right uh, um, wheelbase. So at least when we put it on there, it's close, and then we can move it while it's here. Um, So this is it, nice and stock besides, I think he has just a cat back exhaust. Uh, you don't have suspension, right? Just, okay. The wheels, remember we did the wheels in the video a while back. Uh, was this HKS, was it, the exhaust? HKS, yeah. Yeah, so HKS exhaust. It's a little dirty, don't worry, you know, you're gonna clean it up. What do you think it's gonna make? Uh, 275. All right, 275. If you say 275, I say 250, 260 to the wheels. Yeah, you know, so so we're gonna find out. Let me let me get him going. Obviously this is the second pole because somebody was too excited to record it on their phone they didn't get it deep. <laughs> so the first pole the car actually made 263. I was correct. He was wrong. I win, he lose. <laughs> um, but that's uh, that's his base map. That's pretty much it. Uh, 263. Oh, I need to move it down here and make it all professional. 263 horsepower and 269 for Ponza Torque from a uh, bone stock car with just an exhaust. So I don't know if an exhaust actually did anything. I think the exhaust did anything? Uh, uh. Uh. Alright, cool. So that's our baseline. We're gonna go take the car over here, put on a lift, install his stage two MAP performance kit. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get back on the dyno and see what she makes. Okay. Alright, so car's on the lift, he's doing an all change. Obviously I got extracurricular activities over there and he brung his uh his tool kit. <sighs> Not really monster made, but you know, it is what it is. And then, you know, we got a stranger here. It's just because it's not red. And hey, what up? Ah, it's George. <laughs> He's here. You know, I don't know why you're here. you just here. Maybe he needs something. Maybe he don't. I don't know. Actually, I do need something, but we kind of figured that all out. Oh. Uh, so, okay. So, so I got him. So, I don't know. Craig has a bunch of stuff here from map performance. He has a stage two kit. Let's see what he got in here because he obviously didn't record. So, looks like an intake. And a cooler pipe in. Okay. And I think that's down pipe and stuff. Huh? Yeah, it has an intake in there. That's everything. That's all they need to see. Yeah, well, we're going to take it out and I'll show it to them, man. Oh, it's nothing cool. Yeah, it's nothing fancy. We'll, I, he got all his tools on it. So what you expect me to do? He got all his tools on it. I'll move his tool. I gave him a table for the parts and he put his tool on there. What you doing, Craig? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, look. George got you, Craig. You're not here, so George got you. He got his carb access tuner. What is this? Yeah. He has a lawn shirt. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Definitely a lot going on. Let's see what he got in here. 
And George is taking long too, so I, I'm guessing this is a downpipe because he has exhaust already. Ooh, look at that thing. So it already made 260 something horsepower. This stage shoe kit should give him like another 20 or another 50 or something like that. I gotta ask him when he get back. He went to the park store because he bought an oil filter from Walmart and they got him. He bought a, a mobile one box and it came with a frame filter in it. I wish we had got that on video for you guys, but we did it. <laughs> Alright, so we don't put it back because now we're gonna just take it out. Now we, we can get the table back if we can sit this on the floor. <sighs> so now I'm gonna go over there and do the good work that I do and take this downpipe out while we wait. Alright, so we have a surprise in the video for you because you got a whole road session by George, so you won't know. So first thing we did was we got the mid pipe out. Two bolts here, two bolts there. I'm pretty sure you guys got it. Look at my man. I'm trying to make all that power through a cat. So we had to get rid of that thing. But this thing's about to be a pain because you can't really get up in there on these Subarus. You know, it's just a bunch of bolts everywhere and rusty and 18 like. So we'll get it out. Yeah, you know I'm busy over there tuning stuff. Craig over here, you know, he got some bolts out. Pretty good, I mean, he only been here since 9 a.m. and it's five o'clock, but it's out, it's on the floor. Uh, he gonna grab his nice, fancy new one over here. He gonna pop that on here. Tighten up, make sure you tighten up all the bolts. You got new gaskets and stuff? Oh, yeah. Ready to go, the intake? He said he's gonna do the intake. I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> all right, cool, well. Get to it. Okay, take two. This is gonna pull it off. See how it's pulled it back? Make sense it's gonna fit with this thing off? Huh? Yes, it should. you DIY Subaru guys that want to be like my cousin Craig over here. Craig doing all this work and the easiest boat. Let me show y'all what he did. Y'all see what he did? Can y'all tell me what the problem is right there? <laughs> tell me in the comments what he did. Y'all blast him. I might even tag him for this one. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. It's so crooked. You laughing. It was him not me. <laughs> They didn't tell you the heat shield don't fit when you put on a bigger downpipe, so we go monstify it and make it fit by, you know, just making some space with a bigger downpipe. So. Kids, don't do this at home because it's. It's dangerous. Guys, I have a horrible camera guy called Craig. The same guy that stripped the bolt heel in the camera. So we done trimming the thing here, so, and now we gonna put it on. Look how easy going. I'm tired of doing it three times for y'all. Done. See, look how easy that is. If he had recorded the first time, y'all would've got a quality uh, update of how this went on here. But I'm tired, okay? All right, let's put it back. Bomb, see? Done, just like that. So now, flash your tune, right? Yes. You yes. You know, flash tune. He that's flashing tune. Guys, y'all gotta see his tuning laptop. Look like damn anime. <laughs> Where's tuning laptop at? My laptop's in the 
Oh my god, they go right there. Look at that. Oh my god, what you got going on here? Eh, who this like? Troy, because I know you're going to watch the video. I unsigned by, I go answer. Oh shit, my bad, I missed the call. Oh shit. That's true. My man done load his, his stage two, man. He finna, he finna, oh, we don't do those, but all right. Let, that was successful. Let's see, let's hear this thing. Let's hear this thing. She got a right door now. Let's see. Okay. Had me scared for a moment, man. I thought it wasn't going to start. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Was you scared? I, I thought you said you got a little idle for a little bit. All right? Yeah. Oil pressure and everything good? You did the oil change? Yeah. You gonna reset your oil light? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Let me, let's go around here. I can't tell you got a downpipe. This is one of them catted downpipes, huh? Let me check all my bolts, make sure I tighten everything up. Tight, tight, tight. All right, so we're gonna let this thing warm up. We're gonna drive back over to the dyno. We're gonna strap it up and then try to make some horse ties. Some horse ties. All right, cool. Sound good. Don't sound like you got no exhaust leaks. Think you did all right, cuz. Did all right, man. I guess we could take it off a lift now. Drive it on over to the dyno. What are you turning it on for? I want you to drive it. Though. Drive it? Mm. Oh yeah, well let it warm up, man. Cause so that way we can get the dyno straight ripping. We ripping, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, you hit up. Drive, drive. My man got his upgrades. Now we gonna see these improvements. MAP, I hope y'all ain't lying to my dog, man. So we gonna talk about these numbers real quick. Hey man, Matt, where, where, where my boy? Thirty seven horsepower at man. We missing thirty seven horsepower man. Ask him man, where the thirty seven horsepower man? We out here looking for thirty seven horsepower. So this is how we gonna try to find thirty seven horsepower. We, we realized we did two pulls, and it's a Subaru. It's on top of the engine. It's heat soaking like crazy. So we got a solution. We add a a turbo fan to the intercooler. So we gonna try this one pull and see what she does. We don't get a 37 horsepower, or at least 20 out of that 37 horsepower. We want a refund. Yes. <laughs> he goes fine. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold it. Hold it. advertisement but uh maybe they meant 333 torque craig you sure you maybe. sure because it made three 
21 torque. Mm -hmm. But as you guys can see, my, my guy needs an intercooler because once we put the fan on there, he made so much more power the whole power band. Like, look at that. He made at least, what's that? 65. Oh man, he made like 15 more horsepower the whole way to red line. So when he gets on the highway and this thing's scooting, yeah, he's gonna be scooting. So if you get a big intercooler, it'll definitely help. But uh, the little jaggedy lines might just be the boost doing things. Like it, it, it was spooling real hard and the tune said, nah, that's too much boost and it pulled it out right there and kept it where it needs to be. We gotta recheck this. I, I don't know if I can trust Craig. Map, my bad, bro. Maybe you meant 330 torque. <laughs> All right, Craig, let the people know. Uh, What's your thoughts? My thoughts, uh, I'm okay with it. You know, it's for my daily, I'm okay with it. It's okay. Yeah. It's 300 horsepower, guys. He made more than what he came with. True. And it's only a downpipe, an intake, and a flash tune. He didn't yeah. get a dyno tune, so. Yeah. It's going get a dyno tune, you know. Mm -hmm. It might be more. Sure. So, with that said, slow ass. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to leave him alone. He worked hard today, you know, he he, he did mess some stuff up, y'all seen that. Um, yeah, well that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know. Uh, we'll have a little bit more Subaru content when Subaru guy buys some more stuff. Oh yeah. Because I ain't buying no Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see y'all in the next one. Please. Later. <laughs>